What if I told you that the future of electric vehicles doesn't run on lithium anymore? What if everything we believed about EV limitations, slow charging, short range, and battery fires, <laughs> it was just obliterated overnight? Tesla's new aluminum ion battery has just detonated the landscape like a technological thunderstorm. A 1,000 mile range, charging 70 times faster than lithium ion, zero fire risk, and a price tag that could send competitors scrambling. This is not just an upgrade, it's a paradigm shift, and you're about to witness why Tesla's aluminum ion technology is the biggest battery leap in over a century. Let's dive deep, because after this, you'll never look at EV the same way again. Number one, how does the American Tesla Model 2 directly challenge China's monopoly? Picture this, China's $300 billion of dominance crumbling, all because of one car. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 isn't just a machine, it's a missile aimed directly at China's electric empire. For years, China's strategy has been clear. Control the game board. With 95% of global lithium battery production and over half of the rare earth refining under their belt, they've positioned themselves as the indispensable supplier. But Tesla just flipped the board. Companies like Bide, Xpeng, and Neo weren't just building cars. They were leveraging $28 billion in government subsidies to wage economic warfare. Tesla isn't just responding, it's striking back. The Model 2 is a declaration of independence. Every bolt, every battery cell, every chip, sourced entirely within North America, this isn't manufacturing, this is a revolution. The Gigafactory in Nevada. It's now producing two terawatt hours of battery power annually, enough to fuel five million Model 2s all American-built, and the masterstroke? Exclusive lithium rights to California's Salton Sea, a.k.a. Lithium Valley, unlocking enough material to fuel 40 million ev yearly without touching Chinese soil. Eh, it's not just about supply chains, it's psychological warfare. Every Tesla Model 2 built without a single Chinese part is a statement. America no longer needs Beijing's batteries. When American families can drive a $25K Tesla with 450 plus miles of range and full self-driving, what happens to Byte Market? To China's GDP? Tesla is about to strip $140 billion in revenue and up to 3.2 million jobs from China's EV industry. Make no mistake. This isn't just about a car. This is about collapsing a decades-old system of foreign dependence. Type a Tesla Windsor in the comments if you see what's happening. Because Musk's industrial middle finger to Beijing is already in motion. And the shockwaves are coming. How is this Tesla built to crush Chinese EV globally? Chinese EV makers like Baid once seemed unstoppable, flooding global markets with cheap, subsidized vehicles. But the 2026 Tesla Model 2 changes everything. This isn't just a budget Tesla. It's the first EV engineered to annihilate China's EV dominance at scale. Ah, <laughs> Designed for conquest, armed with revolutionary tech, and produced through a decentralized global strategy. This is Tesla's counter-strike. While previous models like the 3 and Y were aimed at premium markets, the Model 2 is Tesla's boots-on-the-ground machine, built for everyday drivers from Los Angeles to Sao Paulo, from Berlin to Mumbai. It's not about flash. It's about function, freedom, and global affordability. Thought. And it's doing something Chinese EV can't even dream of. At the heart of this car is the Synapse Drive, a next-gen electric powertrain that combines Tesla's neuromorphic AI chip with an ultra-efficient motor 
delivering 45% better performance than wide blade battery. Real-time adaptive power management, lower energy usage, and up to 400 miles of range on just 20k wash per 100 miles. That's $3,000 in fuel savings over five years. An economic gut punch to Chinese competitors. And what about cost? While Bide builds cars like the Yuan Plus at $16,000, Tesla's Synapse Drive and modular design bring the Model 2 below $15,000. How? Tesla's global fab strategy. Micro factories in Mexico, Texas, Germany, and India build local components and slash shipping and tariffs. No reliance on Chinese ports, no geopolitical risks, just lean, clean, decentralized production. By 2029, Tesla aims to produce 3 million Model 2s annually. That alone could cut Chinese EV exports by 20%, wiping $15 billion from their revenue. When your rivals are shipping containers across oceans, and you're building cars next door to customers, you don't just win, you dominate. <laughs> Number three, how Tesla is redefining car ownership forever with a zero touch ownership. What if owning a car felt more like owning an app? No keys, no paperwork. No hassle. Welcome to Zero Touch Ownership, Tesla's next breakthrough, quietly being tested on the Model 2 in Texas. And once this rolls out, it will end everything we hate about car ownership. Here's how it works. You buy the car online. No dealership visits. No pushy sales reps. No middlemen. You customize your Tesla Model 2 through the app. Track it through production and receive a biometric-linked QR code when it's ready. No key phobie, your face or fingerprint is your key. Registration, insurance and delivery. All handled digitally. Insurance approval, 90 seconds. Ownership, seamless. But it gets better. Each Model 2 self-scans daily. If something's wrong, it doesn't just alert you. It schedules the repair automatically. And in most cases, you won't even need to leave home. Tesla is testing drone care, autonomous repair drones that show up to fix your car in your driveway. For rural Americans or elderly owners, this is nothing short of revolutionary. Now imagine selling your car. No haggling, no listings, no test drive. The Model 2 drives itself to a Tesla inspection site, gets evaluated via sensors, and you get a buyback offer in-app, with money in your account within 24 hours. This is the Amazon Prime of used cars. Setio isn't just a convenience feature, it's economic warfare against an outdated industry. It cuts 87% of support and service costs, reduces insurance premiums, and makes vehicle ownership accessible to retirees, veterans, and working families who need reliability over complexity. This is the future. So now ask yourself, is the Model 2 still just a car? Or is it the first ever autonomous, self-managed vehicle platform for real-world users? Finally, let me ask you something. Would you still buy a lithium-powered car after this? Would you invest in charging networks when the need to a charger becomes irrelevant? Hmm. Hmm. Would you bet against Elon Musk? Again? This is more than a new product. It's a bold declaration to the world. The future is faster, cleaner, safer, and cheap. The aluminum ion battery is not just a Tesla innovation. It's the next great leap for humanity's energy future. And we're standing on the edge of the most transformative moment since the Model T rolled off the assembly line. Welcome to the 1,000 mile revolution. Welcome to the age of Tesla's aluminum ion supremacy.